dangerous drug that you've probably never heard of, and police say it could be linked to the death of a popular SUNY Canton hockey player. This morning, 7 News reporter Sarah Campo tells us about the 21-year-old's strange death and a designer drug known as Molly. We will always remember your big heart. Your smile will never be forgotten. Words to honor 21-year-old Corey Burkum, a popular SUNY Canton hockey player. The Potsdam native died late Sunday night after starting a fire in his Dye Street apartment. Police say he then injured himself with a hunting knife, made it outside, collapsed, and died on the street. Now police say the death could be linked to the designer drug known as Molly. It's a club drug, so it's associated with raves, um, parties. Molly is said to be the purest form of the chemical MDMA, the key ingredient in ecstasy. You can take it in a pill form or it comes in a powder form, so it can be used orally. You can inhale it or you could inject it. In the short term, Molly users experience extreme euphoria, hallucinations, and increased body temperature. Long term effects are more serious memory loss, anxiety, and weight loss. Experts say using just Molly doesn't typically make people act violently. But when Molly is combined with other drugs, the results are unpredictable. People use it to, to party, to have a good time, but in conjunction with other drugs, it can be very, very dangerous. Molly has become increasingly popular in the suburbs of larger cities. Local drug experts say they haven't seen much of the drug in the North Country. We've had one case recently um, within the last few months, but otherwise um, we don't see it as being that prevalent. It's unclear if this drug played a role in Burkum's death. An autopsy was to be done this afternoon, and results of chemical tests will likely take several weeks. In the newsroom, Sarah Campo, 7 News. And new here this morning, we hear from one of Burkum's teammates. Teammates put up a makeshift memorial outside of Burkum's apartment. Eric Cook, one of the captains of the hockey team, describes his teammate as a hardworking person who cared about everybody. It was a huge shock to us. I mean, he's a happy kid. He put everyone before himself. He was always smiling. If you asked anybody what they thought about Corey Burkum, they would smile and say he had the biggest smile in the world. An autopsy for Burkum was done yesterday. However, chemical tests will take several weeks to come back.